Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Alpha Life Year. We are finally moving on with the next installment for our Zero to Billion series and for this one I think it's a very special episode because theoretically we have been able to pay for our gas hoffing skill and ship with the 50 million yeah the 50 million isk that they both cost us just in order to be able to actually perform this activity and make the isk there is a little something i have to tell you i had already pre-recorded this episode and the recording came out bad i uh, my graphics card seemed to be having some issues but fortunately we still have all the history for everything that we actually did during that recording so Let's actually take a very nice look at our wallet. And as you can see, we are at 348 million, almost 49 million, which is really, really good. Of course, I have done the project discovery for today. We're going to talk about that in a second. And well, so far, it's been actually great. You can see we have made 193 million, almost 194 million from a mainly project discovery, you know, miscellaneous means project discovery, redeem disk tokens, which we have already redeemed for today, and daily gold rewards, 5 million isk, which is really, really nice. Now, for the sales, meaning the mining itself, how much we have actually made? Well, from asteroids being sold, we have made 51, almost 52 million isk. And for gas cloud harvesting, we have sold 40 million isk. Then why do I say that we have gotten very, very close to our 50 million isk mark for actually having paid for our skill and our first ship? That's because we still have a little bit of gas that we can sell. However, let's view market details real quick. And as you can see in the price history, well, it took a very, very big dip. It's a uh, very dangerous dip in my, uh, according to me because well it has taken dips like this before but not exactly as heavy uh, yeah it has but the thing is that it's better if we hold off until the gas goes back up which it should according to the history and after that we can sell it because right now selling it for 3000 is a pop is not really worth it we can sell it for 6000 and i believe that with the normal prices we can actually let's take a look at this one that is not so how so high we can sell it for five thousand so we really do want to wait a little bit on that before we actually end up selling it because well that can be 10 million isk however if we sell it right now we're definitely going to get a lot less only four million isk and it's 42 percent below market value so we do need to wait up a little bit just before we are able to sell that however since we made it this week we are still going to consider it for this week. That's why we have theoretically made 50 million in uh, celestial gas, which is really, really nice. Also, for some other stuff that we sold, we sold some special edition assets, meaning the flow cryometry rewards. I sold like eight of them. And we sold a module that we got from a crate from the, from the error career program. And we also did sell uh, some two drones, two te uh, Omega drones, Tech One mining drones that apparently someone forgot in an asteroid belt while we were mining many, many episodes ago. And I believe, well, I thought this was a proper time to sell them and they did sell, which is very nice. 23,000 is just off of that. And we get to a very, very nice, very nice 348 million isk so that's a very very nice very good advancement for our wallet now for the project discovery we have been having some issues because well it doesn't allow us to get higher than level 25 it doesn't let us go any further so the flow cryometry rewards we haven't been able to get as many of them however they still pay us for every submission and that is the best part i'm sorry i forgot let me show you real quick the transactions that we have been having of course we get a lot of taxes we get some market transactions yeah more market transactions as you can see i sold market transactions so from today here we have made a very nice healthy amount of isk around 14 15 17 18 million around 18 million for this episode a little bit more 
But yeah, definitely not the healthiest economically episode, but I believe really, really good episode nonetheless. You may remember that we had been making tops 17 million ISK, uh, but the reason why we made something around that, even though we are gas huffing, is a very funny thing. We were gas huffing in a wormhole and, well, we got hunted. So some players were hunting us down and I decided to just log off in that wormhole and wait around a few days, but the weekend was coming and since I spent the weekend with some friends, I wasn't able to play or to advance and I woke up today in that same wormhole and, well, it wasn't exactly filled up and there was nothing for us there so i spent a good two hours looking for other wormholes to be able to gas off in and wasted a lot of time on that but since travel time is also considered for the series i of course did include it we actually did run up to the eight hour mark uh, i believe two minutes less before i started recording the first time but yeah we definitely did spend a lot of time just trying to get some gas sites and trying to survive, you know, because people were hunting us down. And finally, I do have a nice little surprise for you, which is, well, I have the recording for the gas huffing itself, which is really, well, I believe really, really nice. And I hope you like it. I tried to explain it. However, in the recording, it didn't catch my microphone. So I'm going to try to re-record the voiceover a little bit in a few minutes and see how that goes so guys do let me know what you think about my uh post recording uh for the voiceover i hope you like it i hope it's not that bad but yeah unfortunately i as i told you my computer has been having some issues so some recordings have been problematic and some voiceovers have been well lost unfortunately but we still were able to make this episode and that is really really great What's next? Of course, our skills. We have still 16 days of skills training. Uh, do let me know if there's something in particular you want me to train. I did put up a lot of drone stuff, but it's not going to be that much, just 16 days, just so that we can get to that 2 million skill point mark, so that we can get our project discovery a little bit higher. That's right now one of my priorities. And uh, well, let's see how well we do with that. For the sales, I already showed you, we were, I believe, at 3,300 million ISK. Well, yeah, 330 million ISK mark, and now we are at the 348, which is really, really nice. So let's get out there and actually take a good look into that part of the recording so that you guys can tell me what do you think about it and if you learned something from the way I gas off and if there's something I could do differently. I have been told that I should actually go around the gas cloud and stuff like that, but I have seen that actually staying still aligned to my warp out, to my safe, is a little bit faster and you will actually see someone hunting us down and the reason why we have a very nice and very particular piece of equipment on our ship which is this one this warp core stabilizer just saved our lives a few days before and as you can see for the nice low price of 20,000 isk it can save you a 12,000 a 12 million isk ship with some gas even a 24 million isk ship so yeah definitely definitely do fidget if you're going to dangerous parts of space so let's move on to that segment and we'll get back to you guys so for this part of the recording uh we're going to be doing a little bit of voice over on top of it just because well we have been having as i told you some technical issues but as you can see here we are in our high sex system actually hunting currently for a wormhole that's worth getting into and so far has been so good, we didn't have to go that far from our base system and we are just trying to get along some good, good place where we can start gas hopping. Of course, we are just going to scan this down, try to find a wormhole and actually get to it. And for the certain parts, I'm actually going to speed up the recording uh, so that we can get to the commentary when the time comes.
So finally we have gotten ourselves a nice wormhole. That's a really really nice thing. So let's try and see what else can we actually get. So for some very important information here, you can see it says that it leads to unknown parts of space, our nice little wormhole. This is going to be really really important, that's exactly the kind of wormhole we want to get into. Some of them lead to nullsec or to lowsec or even to highsec to another part of highsec, so you actually want to avoid those. Uh, if it says unknown or dangerous unknown, uh, it's or deadly even unknown, it, those wormholes are actually the kind of wormholes that we are very much going to be looking for and for this one we are absolutely going in. Unfortunately, we are a little bit close to our uh, market hub and that is going to prove problematic eventually. However, I actually wanted to take this uh, moment to tell you that sometimes it is better to actually scan down around uh, three wormholes down a chain, meaning you get into a wormhole and then you get into the next one and the next one. However, for this one, of course, the very important, you always have to save your home wormhole where you came into the wormhole. I always do this exactly when I get into a wormhole and then I like warping out into the sun and then getting ready to just put up a save. However, this is very incredibly important. It can save you a little bit of time, uh, but it can also save your ship. Uh, it's really, really important that you do save where your wormhole, where your home wormhole is, where you came in from. For example, if you like me like to stay out in the wormholes for a little bit longer periods of time uh, maybe log off inside the wormholes i really really absolutely do recommend that you save the entrance wormhole because you might actually leave you know log off to go to the restroom or something like that and didn't get back your probes uh, you can still get out you just warp to zero of that wormhole you already know where it is you warp to zero of that saved uh, space and you just go back home and that's it so for now we are actually going to be scanning down some sites and yeah let's get on with that and see what can we get and if this wormhole is actually worth staying So, here we have actually gotten ourselves a very nice gas site, which is, well, incredible considering that this wormhole is so close to a trade hub, they are usually already, you know, snapped. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to warp into it, of course, descanning all the time, descan when you're in the wormhole, you have to get used to descanning constantly and without any rest. So, we're going to actually warp into the site while still descanning like madmen and we are going to continue trying to get some of the other cosmic signatures of course now that we are on site we see the first thing we need to see is that there are no rats we go into the mining tab and we select the cloud that we are actually going to be gas hopping from we lock it down and we start our gas hoppers that's why we use this micro wall drive which is a really really great help and i really do appreciate it quite a lot However, we still need to be vigilant because the rats may just spawn. This is a moment well, when I arrive to the site, is a moment when I start the timer that past the 15 minute mark, rats are going to spawn in. However, we are always trying to stay safe, trying to stay awake, awake. but for those 15 minutes, you can guarantee that you're a little bit safer. Uh, and that is really, really important. We are going to try to go back to the general tab and stay on that general tab so that we can see if anybody joins us in our local space, in our site, well, we are going to want to see them as soon as possible. And meanwhile, I'm just going to continue descanning like a madman and continuing scanning down some sites to see if we get another gas site that we could probably or hopefully take advantage of. And right on cue, the rats spawn in. I think this one lasted a little bit longer than the 15 minutes. I don't exactly remember the time. But yeah, we definitely did get a good amount of time on this site. And we, of course, as soon as the rats spawn in, 
we warp back to our safe thankfully we were already aligned and that's what i would recommend as soon as you get to the site and lock up your cloud you align out into the safe just in case anyone is trying to hunt you down or anything weird or strange happens that's what i would recommend uh some people have been telling me that to orbit is better but i have realized that if you're giving your tail to your safe uh you're actually going to take longer to stop the ship and realign and warp out so yeah that's why i like it. staying still standing still while de scanning like a madman because yeah there are cloaky ships out there and most hunters in wormholes are going to be using cloaky, cloaky ships however just already being aligned out is going to be a very very nice addition to your survivability and definitely recommend it so now we're going to get into the site, start gas hopping for this gas cloud, use that beautiful, amazing, fast micro wolf drive that really does save us a lot of time. And yes, we do start up another timer. Yes, we have to, uh, because this is another site. So we start up our other timer, and once again, once we are at zero of the cloud, we align out to our save and stop the ship as soon as possible. So far, we haven't had much of an issue, and everything has been doing has been going a little bit alright. However, we do need to be very, very careful now because we have gone for the first sight in this wormhole. Uh, oh, and there we go. We have something in our D scan that is important to take under consideration, and that means when they get into this scan and then disappear from this scan, that means that they probably saw us and are now floating up. This means that we are possibly, very likely, now being haunted. So, yeah, we're going to keep gas hoffing, but we're gonna be scanning down, uh, descanning like madmen, just like crazy. Descan, 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 and right on cue, there he goes, he joins us up in local, and he locks us up, he warp disrupts us. We are locked, bot coming in clutch, our warp core stabilizer saves the day. This is really great and the very, very reason we have Warp Core Stabilizers for 20,000 ISK. It's not really a big investment and it can definitely and absolutely save your ship, especially if you're doing several sites at a time. Uh, that is really, really good, but we do get this timer. That means we cannot log off inside the wormhole safely. We need to wait 15 minutes before we can actually safely log off, meaning our ship will just kind of disappear into the aether. And once we log back in, we are going to actually get back to our ship. If we just logged off right now, someone, well, they cannot know where our safe is just on this scan. They would need to use some combat scanner probes. And the thing about that is that, well, if they are already hunting in wormhole space, they may actually have combat scanner probes. So we don't really trust this person. We don't trust anyone in local anymore. So what we are actually going to do is this can continue to this can as you can see it's a hound it's a stealth bomber so yeah definitely definitely a ship that can tear us apart really really fast we were lucky that he hadn't shot us or that he uses uh torpedoes because they take a little bit of travel time however that warp core stabilizer really really necessary absolutely undoable without it and we definitely do need it so i'm going to continue this can like a madman just to, to try on find some combat scanner probes if we see combat scanner probes combat scanner probes i would right now move on to the home system get back to the home system or try another wormhole from the ones that we have scanned down but yeah this means that our timer for the gas site is still running once you get in the timer just starts it doesn't stop the rats will spawn in after 15 minutes so you don't really get a lot of chances to go back in and that would be a very stupid thing to do. Yes, we are waiting for the cooling, for the cooling of our warp core stabilizer, and we are also going to eventually get the rats spawned without actually mining anything at all. And yeah, with the timer and with the rats spawning, there is really no point on us going back to that side. That ship can cloak, so it would probably be smart for him to just wait inside the site for us to warp back in thinking that oh everything is safe and boom just decloak on top of us and if we don't have our warp core stabilizer recharged we could definitely just die in that situation that's the problem the main problem so 
we don't really want to go back into the same uh, site. We actually don't want to remain in this wormhole. If we can, we want to get out of the wormhole. Meanwhile, I'm just going to save the gas sites just in case when I come back later the next day or the next two days. I can find these gas sites a little bit easier. Hopefully they will still be there. It has happened to me in the past where I stayed in a, in a wormhole and the sites were still there but the rats kind of despawned or someone killed them and I was able to just go full ham on the gas clouds and I was able to harvest for 20 to 30 minutes which was really absolutely really, really cool but it's not the usual, it won't happen often and I wouldn't recommend it because if there is already people on the wormhole well they are probably going to get someone else to gas off or they are going to themselves get another ship to gas off now what I'm doing here is actually warping to wormholes to see what they are as you can see it says unknown parts of space again that is actually really really good we can save it as unknown but unfortunately I warped out a little bit fast I was still very nervous from being hunted down and can save create elevation here so what I can do will be soon in a second but yeah definitely what I like to do is can down everything as much as I can while uh, gas hopping the first site that also gives me a little bit of perspective how many uh, high sec chains could there be how many wormholes there are uh, if I get you know caught just like I did if I just go back to high sec to safety or if I stay in the wormhole and possibly get another chain or a better chain or some other wormholes where I can continue my gas hopping the, the, this activity involves a lot of decision making especially if you get caught if you don't get caught you don't have to decide anything you just pretty much defend and stay safe and get back to your home but if you do get caught you do have some decisions to make because you can risk getting caught in that system by some locals some people actually live in wormholes so they will be the locals and if they are hunting you uh, they are likely to hunt you on different schedules and stuff like that so you do need to be careful there are a lot of wormhole pvp corps and you need to watch out and that's why this can is your best tool your best defense against everything else against everyone haunting you i cannot stress this enough your this can is going to absolutely save your life and it is going to make your life a lot easier and their life a lot more complicated so yeah i definitely and absolutely do recommend to use this can it's just really that important yep it is absolutely that important it is going to save your life as you can see um to i think it says i cannot read it properly but i think it says low or high sec system and yeah we don't want to go into low sec or a high sec system we have half the cargo that we should have so i am actually going to stay in this wormhole wait for that 15 minute timer to run out before logging off and then log off safely if you wait for the timer to log out again no one's going to be able to get you not even with combat scanner probes but if you do not they will be able to hunt you down and they will bring you down uh, hunters do that hunters are really patient people so you need to take that under account and do not let yourself be a porno rule again just like in low sec or in null sec we use the disc a lot for uh, our low sec bell trapping and stuff like that we need to use it even more in wormhole space because we do not have a local unlike in low sec and null sec where that uh, local chat can actually tell us if there's anyone in system in the wormholes it doesn't apply oh ooh, someone brought some reinforcements so yeah that can be a problem very much of a problem or it could also not be that's an interdictor so that means he can put up some bubbles that can catch us mid warp so we just need to be really really careful as you saw our timer is around half and yeah we're just gonna wait for it to run out and log off safely here in the system so now that we are back at the station as you can see well that was definitely a hairy situation and well we do not have to be just easy prey for anyone to grab. We need to be able to defend ourselves and remember that this gun is absolutely going to save your life.
but also that warp core stabilizer is going to do wonders for you it's an absolute must i don't go out without it to wormholes and yes you could get something else down there but if you're already locked which is the thing with this one actually i wanted to show you real quick just in a simulation, if we take this off and we put in some Inertial Stabilizers Deck 2, we still are not able to get under the 2 second uh, align time, which would be the instant lock time. However, we could also very much get some low friction nozzle joints. We could also get these ones and we still not under the 3 seconds. Well, we could maybe get a Tech 2 version of this only barely under the three seconds and honestly i believe in the three seconds that it takes us to warp out i think we are definitely definitely going to get caught and there is no real point on having all of these extra costs as you can see it just increases the cost so very very much so i would definitely not suggest this at all and without the inertial stabilizer we still over the three second mark so yeah Let's exit that simulation and simulate again so that you can see the base warp time for our ship, which would be five seconds. Yes, we do take two seconds off the top. However, just being able to warp out, that is just great. As you saw, we were caught, we were already locked and we were warp disrupted and we were just able to still warp out of there. Of course, the warp core stabilizer has a reload time. Uh, I do not know if there's any variance between them or if there's any difference or what happens with them. However, it's really, really, really worth it. I believe absolutely worth it and absolutely necessary. So with one of these, you're going to be very difficult to catch. You're going to, well, they are going to have to have a lot of warp scramblers and disruptors on top of you. So for the usual lone hunter, you should have absolutely no problem as you saw just before so of course do remember that in the description below will be some very nice links so that you don't have the problems with the skill training that i have been having you will have a free 1 million skill point referral link and a few more extra useful links also my patreon where i do post not a lot to be honest but some polls in order to decide what to do with the content next and stuff like that do check it out of course it's absolutely free uh, you can still buy me a beer in the Patreon, but the rest of the stuff, which there isn't a lot of stuff, I am trying to learn uh, to make a schedule for that to post a little bit more. But I have been a little bit uh, loaded with the, you know, with my normal job and with the videos. It's been a little bit hard. This month is a little bit complicated for me. However, I have been able to deliver this episode and hopefully for next week we will also deliver on time. So, guys... Thank you also very much for watching. Remember, stay safe out there. Stay safe in Wormball space. It's a free for all. Do remember that. So thank you also very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.